Every time I do a video on power stations or inverters, I always get a comment like this. Now this one is a little more eloquent and technical than most, but the sentiment is almost always the same. High frequency inverters are crap, not to be used, and potentially dangerous. So let's dig into that. Let's see if he's right. To begin with, what is a high frequency inverter? What is an inverter? What does it do? Why are they needed? That's what we're gonna talk about today, and we're gonna to get to the bottom of this. So to begin with, what is an inverter and what does it do? Well, this is an inverter, and inside every power station is a device similar to this. And what this does is it takes the stored DC energy in the battery and turns it into usable AC energy. So let me explain what that means. Inside every power station is a battery that has stored electrical energy in the form of chemical energy, but it's DC energy, direct current energy. Now your house is gonna use AC energy, alternating current, and this device takes the DC energy on one end, and then on the other end is regular household electrical energy that you'd get from the power grid or that probably everybody's really familiar with. So that stored DC energy that comes in is coming in on a straight line. And that AC, alternating current, is alternating up and down. So to turn that DC energy into AC energy inside this inverter and any inverter you and I would buy, it's basically this. Now, not exactly this, but a small electronic version of this. It's a switch, and there's a whole bunch of them. So they're switching it up and down. They're turning that DC on and off, on and off, on and off, and that's creating AC energy. But it's creating a square sine wave that's really unusable. So there's other electronics in here that sweeten and filter it so it goes from modified and then all the way into pure sine wave. So the sine wave looks just like what you're house would look like. And that's how every inverter, again, that you and I would use. That's a high frequency inverter. So now a low inverter works a little bit differently. It introduces a transformer in there. So it still has all these little switches in there, but they're creating low voltage AC. The transformer is a really cool thing that I'll talk about briefly. It's a big hunk of metal with two coils. But if you change the wrapping of the coil, it'll change the voltage. So as it comes in at low voltage, the wrapping on this side is different, so it comes out high voltage, but it's physically separated from the two. So that's the big advantage of a low frequency inverter. That transformer makes it much more reliable, much more powerful, and much safer. So the user's right. A low frequency inverter is much more powerful and more robust and better than a high frequency inverter, but it doesn't matter, and I'll explain why. So the best way to describe this would be to use an analogy. I'm gonna use wire as an analogy. This is copper wire. It's used everywhere. Your house is full of this. These electronic devices are full of it. It's a very good conductor of electricity, but it's not the best conductor of electricity. Silver is actually the best conductor of electricity, but nobody uses silver as wire inside your house or inside devices. It would be incredibly expensive and very hard to manufacture. It's not practical to use. And that's my point with a low frequency inverter. Yes, low frequency inverters are better than high frequency inverters, but they're not practical to use in power stations because of their weight and their size. And I know this firsthand because I've actually built DIY power stations with low frequency inverters and they're massive. I did built one, it was 300 pounds, it was impossible to move. So even though low frequency inverters are much better in so many ways, they're not realistic to use in a power station. And I love low frequency inverters. I have two different solar setups here and both of them use low frequency inverters. The high frequency inverters are not inherently bad. In fact, a lot of hybrid inverters actually use high frequency inverters. Now, there is a caveat to that. And this is where the guy is really right. Cheap high frequency inverters like this are junk. They are dangerous. They can cause all sorts of problems. So don't use cheap high frequency inverters. But a good quality high frequency inverter that you're gonna get in most inverters or in a most power stations or even again in hybrid setups are perfectly fine to use. Theoretically, yes, because they aren't isolated by that transformer, you could have a problem. But it is like saying you're gonna get struck by lightning. Yes, it could happen, but it's not very likely. So if anybody has any questions or thoughts on anything I've said today, please leave a comment below. Love to hear what you have to say. As always, like, comment, share, subscribe. It really helps out the channel. Thanks everyone for watching and I'll talk to everyone soon.